Hello everyone, welcome to this week's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install Android 8.1 on Samsung Galaxy S3. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe, hit the bell so you get a notification when I upload a video. So there are a few things that you must do first before you install a custom room. First make sure your phone is charged up to 70 to 8 percent. You don't want your phone to shut down in the middle of the installation. Second, install TWRP. In order to install TWRP, you don't need to root your phone. So download the TWRP and install it on your phone. Download the custom room and copy it to your internal memory. And download the G app and copy it to your internal memory as well. All the links for these files will be in the description section of this video. Now let's go and install the custom ROM. Once you've done with all of this, power off your phone. Now boot it into the recovery mode by pressing volume up, home button and power button at the same time until you see the logo, the Samsung logo, then release it. Here we are going to install the custom ROM and the G apps. Unfortunately, I do not have downloaded the G apps, but the process is the same that we are going to use for the custom ROM. First, click on Wipe, Advanced Wipe, then select Delvic, Cache, System, and Data. Then swipe to wipe. By doing this, you will be wiping or deleting all your apps and settings from your system. You will not lose your data stored in the internal storage. Now we can install the custom room. Go back by clicking here and then click on install. I'm already in the folder that has the custom room that we're going to install. In your case it might be different so what you're gonna do is click on select storage select internal storage this is where my custom room is in my internal storage I'm going to click here then click OK so this custom room is on my internal storage so what you're going to do here is going up to show you where it is located so this is my internal storage if this is your first time, you probably will come directly here. So what you're going to do here is find where is your custom ROM. Mine is here in a folder called lineage 15.1. I'm going to click here to open and I'm going to click on the file to select it. So this is the lineage 15.1 or Android Oreo 8.1. Now what we are going to do here is swipe to confirm flash. This process can take quite some time and you just have to relax. Swipe to unlock. Well, the installation has completed and it was successful. Now it's time to install the G apps. As I said before, unfortunately, I don't, I do not have downloaded the G apps. So, if you have downloaded the G apps, follow the previous steps that we took to install the custom ROM. Well, this time you don't need to wipe anything. What you're gonna do is click on, click in here, click on install select where it is your g apps if it is on your internal storage or micro sd and then click on that let's go let's go a uh, level up so locate here your g apps follow the same proce procedures select the app and install it once you have done with all of this go back to the main menu okay by clicking here this is the main menu click on reboot and then click on system
This is the first boot and it can take some time. The final step is setting up your phone the way you want. Well guys, we have installed Android 8.1. This is based on Lineage 15.1 and so far I have not found many issues with the ROM and it has been working fine. I've not noticed a huge improvement in the battery, but it can last all day with me, so I'm pretty fine with it. Well guys, all the apps are working fine. You can go to the calls and see the new design from the Android Oreo. As well as go to the messages. If you notice, you can see that the icons of the application has changed. It's kind of cool. And you can see as well that the multi window is working very well. I will keep using this custom room for a week before I switch to Android 9 because I've been using this custom room for a long time now and I'm enjoying but I'll I like to try the Android 9 so I'll make a video when I'm switching to the Android 9 so you guys can see it so make sure that you stay tuned for the next video well guys that's all for this video I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you get a notification every time i upload a video and i'll see you in the next week